South Africa is likely one of the most loyal African nations to Russia and has declined to give in to pressure to criticize Russia's actions. They allowed sanctioned Russian yachts to their coast, they allowed their warships and recently welcomed Russia's foreign minister for talks. Now, Russia's Nordwind Airlines has been in discussions with South Africa about beginning direct flights between Moscow, Shermedivo and Johannesburg, O.R. Tambo. These negotiations are being made regardless of the fact that the airlines prohibited from flying to South Africa by international aviation safety regulations due to sanctions imposed by the U.S. and Europe as a result of Russia's conflict with Ukraine. Hello and welcome. This is Rain Smith, and you're watching the New Africa Channel. Pretoria is awaiting the airline's decision. According to Mizuvukile Jeff Makatuka, the South African ambassador to Russia, who spoke to the Russian state-owned news agency Sputnik. He also affirmed that in order to increase Russian tourism, four non-stop flights per week will be introduced, including one to Cape Town each week. It appears that Russian flag carrier Aeroflot was in the running, but South African authorities ultimately chose Nordwind. Numerous emails sent to Nordwind's management asking for confirmation received no response. However, when contacted by phone, a company representative in Moscow acknowledged that flights to South Africa were planned, but was unable to provide any other information. The International Air Services Council of South Africa informed CH Aviation that Nordwind had not yet submitted an application for a foreign operator's authorization. Oleg Ozarov, the Russian ambassador-at-large and leader of the Russia-Africa Partnership Forum, confirmed talks about starting direct flights between the two countries before the 2023 Russia-Africa Summit in St. Petersburg in July. Despite facing Western sanctions, Nordwind continues to operate its mixed fleet of Airbus and Boeing aircraft, which it has effectively taken from lessers. According to South Africa's International Air Services Council, Nordwind has not yet applied for a foreign operator's permit. The route operated by the Russian carrier presents legal issues because of the ongoing Western sanctions on Russian entities. For South Africa's Civil Aviation Authority to approve the launch of flights by Nordwind, the Russian carrier must show that its aircraft are fit for flying. The problem is that the sanctions on Russia prohibit the shipment of spare parts and the provision of technical and maintenance services to Russian airlines, making it highly likely that Nordwind will fail airworthiness evaluations. Since the Russia-Ukraine conflict and subsequent economic sanctions on Russia, Nordwind Airlines has been illegally maintaining the majority of its Western-made aircraft and continuing to use them. A source told CH Aviation that Nordwind is subject to the ban, meaning it does not have access to the latest maintenance revisions and therefore will not be allowed to fly to South Africa. Given the lack of access to spare parts and other crucial aircraft maintenance components, significant concerns have been raised about the safety of Nordwind's seized aircraft. A representative from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency stated that the agency was seriously worried about the safety of the Western-built fleet in Russia particularly with regard to how the aircraft are being maintained and how the pilots and engineers are being trained. It will be interesting to see how Norwind will operate without having necessary legal backing. What do you make of our video? Will South Africa allow the Russian airline to function irrespective of the result of their airworthiness evaluations? Do you think South Africa should disregard Russia because of the sanctions? Leave your comments below and let us know what you think. And as always, subscribe to the new Africa channel for more exciting future videos.